This is your Vancouver Real Estate Market Update for March 2020. And we're getting after it right after this. Hey everyone, I'm Craig Veroni with Remax Masters Realty. I'm your local real estate agent here in Vancouver, BC. In today's video, I'm going to be joined once again by my colleague, Des Sorpy. We're going to be covering what's happened in the Vancouver real estate market through the month of February, what's coming that could affect that market, and a piece of technology that I'm utilizing that you need to know about as well. I shoot a ton of videos about what it's like to live, love, and own here in Vancouver. So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell as well so you can be notified the moment I have a new video out. I really want you to be able to stay up to date on all the latest tips and insights into the Vancouver real estate market so that you can become an expert too. So let's dive into it. There was a 44.9% increase in the home sales recorded in February of 2019 to those recorded in February of 2020 and there was a 36.9% increase in home sales recorded between January of 2020 and February of 2020. Looking at the broader view, last month's sales were 15.6% below the 10-year February home sales average. So home buyer demand had strong month over month and year over year increases through the month of February, but inventory still remained low, particularly in the condominium market. Many agents have reported increased traffic at open houses and multiple offers in certain pockets of the market. If you've been thinking of selling your home, now is a good time to act as there is increased demand, less competition from other sellers, and some upward pressure on prices. Homes are also selling much faster than the previous month. What does this mean if you're a buyer? Well, if you're looking to purchase a home in the next few months, lay the groundwork now so you can set yourself up for success. This means getting yourself pre-approved with your mortgage broker or bank. And remember, there is a difference between being pre-qualified and being pre-approved. Also, connect with a realtor that you like and trust right away so you can save yourself both time and money. With multiple offer situations happening in certain pockets of the market right now, you want to ensure that you have a realtor working on your behalf. And finally, narrow down as much as possible the area that you want to live in. Whether you're buying or selling, knowledge is key, and the SnapStats market reports are a fantastic way to arm yourself with a ton of knowledge about your market area. To download the full reports, Simply click on the images below to get either the Metro Vancouver report or the Greater Vancouver report. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, down in the description below is a link to a sample report. Click on that, go ahead and review it, and if you think that it's something of value, and trust me, you are going to love these reports, simply fill out your name and email address to start receiving those reports monthly. So Des, What's happened through the month of February? So many things, Craig. Uh, what we've definitely seen is, is a lot more interest from the buyers yeah. uh, popping their head up into the market. We've had certainly many more showing requests, uh, properties going into multiple offers, like sales are increasing. So I think by the time the February stats uh, came out, we weren't surprised that we had seen more activity. And I think March is gonna continue that trend, if not increased even further. There are a few things that could definitely have an impact on the Vancouver real estate market. The COVID-19 outbreak is one of them, as it already has had an impact on fixed rate mortgage rates, and there are rumors that it could have an even greater impact. There's also been the recent announcement that the feds will be relaxing the mortgage stress test even further. Now, there is still a lot of pent up buyer demand here in Metro Vancouver, and lower interest rates could definitely have an impact on our market. We are also entering the spring market, which is typically more active. So it will be interesting to see how all of these factors play out over the next few months. We're very rate sensitive here. You know, we've yeah. got huge prices um, relative to a lot of other places in Canada. And so changes in interest rates really do have an impact in the lower mainland. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're also very inventory sensitive. Like right now, we just don't have product. Right. We also don't have any product that we can see in the short term coming online. Um, in, in terms of pre-sales, et cetera, like developers just aren't bringing the product on board as fast as there's a demand for it. And even if they were to start building, for example, tomorrow, it would be a two to four year lag before we'd actually see that product hit the market to ease some of the demand that's out there. So between the lack of supply and the fact that we're seeing a reduction in stress test coming up, 
so we won't uh, need to qualify at these crazy higher rates. People will be able to get into the market at uh, the lower stress test levels, as well as the fact that we've seen a 50 basis point cut with the Bank of Canada with probably another reduction coming shortly. Uh, I think we're in for a wild ride of increasing prices coming again in this spring and summer. Mm -hmm. Talk about talk about the, the 50 basis point rate cut that just happened because that's unusual. Very unusual, Craig. Um, what we were all expecting to see last fall was a rate cut that didn't actually happen. Right. Uh, I think everybody was a little surprised by that, but I think the Bank of Canada decided that they just didn't want to add uh, to the heated real estate market in certain segments of the economy. And so they passed on that rate cut. And now uh, I think what's happening is the COVID's probably a really nice excuse to double down on that 50 basis points. And instead of the typical 25%, uh, 25 basis points, excuse me. And that's that's very unusual. Like these are 12 super conservative banker types sitting around in a room going, oh crap, we missed it. Mm -hmm. And so now we're doing a little <laughs> bit of backpedaling. But that's gonna have a huge impact in terms yeah. of the five year rate, yeah. which we don't normally see again. Um, it's the variable rate that's typically affected when the Bank of Canada drops rates. But we are hearing talk of all the major lenders basically following suit and saying they're planning on cutting the five-year rates as well, which would effectively mean we're looking at 2.4, 2.5% for five years. That's nuts. In a very near future. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's coming. It's yeah. definitely coming. Okay, I'm going to geek out here for a while, so please forgive me. If you've recently purchased the new iPhone 11 Pro because of the three front-facing cameras and one rear-facing camera, you've probably been anxiously awaiting Filmic Pro's release of its app that takes full advantage of these cameras. Well, I'm happy to announce that that wait is over because about a month ago, Filmic Pro released its free, yes, free app called Double Take. Double Take allows you to take full advantage of the iPhone 11 Pro's cameras. With this app, you can shoot multiple cameras simultaneously. So you can capture a wide or ultra wide shot at the same time, or a use the front facing and rear facing cameras simultaneously, like I'm doing right now. So I'm recording myself and you're actually getting to see what's outside my office window at the moment. Okay, I know what you're thinking. This might be great for you, Craig, who's out there filming with your phone all the time, but why do I need it? Well, if you happen to have family or friends or kids or pets, this app with this phone will now allow you to capture video footage that you never thought possible before. Any sporting event, family event or family trip can be captured with footage only possible previously by having multiple cameras filming at the same time. So if you have this phone, get this free app. I'll put a link down in the description below for you so you'll know where to go get the Double Take app. I'm Craig Veroni with Remax Masters Realty. I'm your local real estate agent here in Vancouver, BC. If you're moving or thinking of moving to the Metro Vancouver area and you want to know more about specific neighborhoods, I have shot a ton of neighborhood videos around Metro Vancouver and will be shooting many more in the upcoming months. So be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a thing. That's a wrap, folks. I really hope you've enjoyed this month's market update. And if so, would you do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, give this video a like, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next month. And remember, this is where you live, love, own Vancouver.